Romans chapter 5 verse 17. Alright, maybe you can ทุมาดบาลูเตียวดีปิ่นมาตอจองทุเตียวดอตูอาผิ่นไตจินเตียดิอโซยาอีจีซูดออีจวยวาจิงโกละกาวผ่องมั่นยาโรตวนไปดอ
Patama Uzo, Tanodu Yatrava Baluta lesson, Kuro, Kuro Patoma, Pebusoma, Kuro, a pit in the Oh God, I need more grace, more blessings. Kuro, Chizuro, Tano, Tavi Lujene, Korea Kamjimila, Tavi Lujene. Oh God, how can you give the other person more? You give me less. Right, we start to compare, we start to compete with each other. Right. Right. And then on that and then other people they will blame the devil. Oh, the devil is the one that steals all my blessings. Right? Most believers are like that. It's either they blame God or they blame the devil. Right? It's never my problem. But the truth, right? but the truth is, it's actually your problem. Right? If, if God has already given all this to us, and we, right, and we still are not reigning in life. Right, only two reasons. One is your ignorance. Right, you don't know what you have, what you have been given. Right, because never read the word. La. Right. 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 So ignorant that is cure. Right. Listen to good teaching, you know, read the Bible, you start understanding what you have, what Christ has given you. Then the second right. right. The second group of people is that they know what they are given, but they don't want to use it. They think not important. Right? So I say, no, I don't need all these blessings. I can just use my own effort to achieve what I want. Right? So the third group of people is that they know not relevant, no need, not useful, we put aside. Right. right, so although it's given to us as a free gift, we look at it, we say, not useful, then we put aside. Right, so sometimes this is what happened. When we, right? We know the blessings of God, the grace of God, we receive either we are ignorant or we deem not essential, not important, not important. So we put aside. Right? And then we ask ourselves, how come I'm not reigning in life? Right? Well, how come so many obstacles? No, 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 no victory. Right, we ask God, God where, what, what abundant life Jesus talked about, I don't understand. Right, so today I'm just going to touch on a bit of this, all right? Grace and righteousness. Right, so the first mention of grace in the New Testament is Luke chapter 2, verse 40. Right, and it talks about Jesus, right? Grace of God was upon him. And here it again, just now we read Romans 5.17, grace means unmerited favor. Now we see grace is favor and spiritual blessing. Alright, so okay. 
This is just for your information. This is just the Greek definition of grace. Jesus or Surago, Pobima, Naleboya, to a Ditema, Shillian Tarosago, Piat Hare. It's basically all the good things that God, God gives to you. A take Bega Bale, so Payaga, two tata media, two yet come yet alone songo, Kanzazi Boya, Payago and Beijing Pit. And then Apostle Paul, he's also known as the Apostle of Grace. So Right, because in the epistles, he writes a lot concerning God's grace. Right, and today, of course, we have people who take some of, the, some of what he writes and then they put the teaching into extreme. You know, you have the radical hyper grace. Right, any truth of God, if you push to the extreme, it becomes heretical. Right, but we want to see what exactly, you know, the, the whole counsel of God's word, what did Paul actually say about grace? Right, in Galatians 1 verse 12, Paul himself says, the message, the, the, the message that I received, nobody taught me but by Jesus, direct revelation by Jesus. Right. Alright, so only Paul has this revelation of grace. Not the, the rest of the apostles, they did not have this understanding yet. So why did God raise up Paul and give him this message to the to to to, to the believers? Right, because God's original plan was for Israel to reach out to the world. Right, but because, G, because Israel, the nation of Israel, rejected the Messiah, God has to do... You know, that's why God has to raise up Paul to reach out to the Gentiles. Israel Right, and then Ephesians chapter 3, verse 2, it tells us we are living under this dispensation of grace. This period that we are in is called Grace, dispensation of grace. Right, so the, the message of God's grace is very important for us living in this dispensation. Right, that's why Paul said this message was given to me for you. Right, so we know it's God's will for us to understand about His grace. And that's why Jesus personally taught Paul Right, so for us today, right, it, it actually would help us a lot as believers living under grace to focus, to read more about grace, to have a full understanding by reading Paul's epistles. Right, so the simplest definition of grace, you know, based on what we have read just now, is God's unmerited favor. Unmerited means you don't deserve it. 
Right. A deep bar less so yin. Right. So no tight and low moho. It is not based on you. Na a poma muti da moho. Right. It is based on the giver. But do poma muti less so pito be by shin poma be muti da pia. That means God freely, right? God is the source and He dispenses grace to us freely because He chooses to. Right, so you, the first thing we need to understand is, right, it is given to us because of the goodness of God, not because of how great or how good we are or how holy we are. Right, so all the blessings that God gives us is His grace towards us. Right, if we start thinking, oh, I, I don't deserve, I know I don't want, I reject or I put aside, that, that is what happened to a lot of believers. Right, their focus is I. I'm not good enough. Right, so the first key to read in life is to believe what the word of God says and then we receive. Right. So how grace comes? One way through Jesus. Okay. Right. John 14, John chapter 1, verse 14 says the word became flesh and then he was. Full of grace and truth. Johan te salima ba pyo le. No ko ba to di lu sa ti ko kan yu yu e de. Te sa ro pyo te sa ro ne le gao pyo ma jin ne te gao pye song do mu di pye yu e. So when you receive Jesus, you receive grace. Da chao te ke ye shu ko chano ro ka le kan de ka ma ba gu ba ya ra le so yin ji zu ro gu ba ya ra. Right? You cannot say, oh, I receive Jesus, but I reject grace because I'm not worthy. I, I don't deserve. That That's what happened to some believer. This is their way of thinking. I'm not good enough. I can receive Jesus, but I cannot receive the blessings that come because I'm not good enough. Right, because the end result is they cannot reign in life. Right, the good news I want to tell you today is when you receive Jesus, you receive all of God's grace. It comes together. Right, sometimes we think, oh, I, step one, accept Jesus. Right, step two, oh, I need to be a disciple, I need to be holy, then more and more blessings will come to me. Right, so you can see the end result is they cannot reign in life. Right, how many of you think like this? Oh, no one, very good. Eh? Last time I think like that, you know. <laughs> that's, that's, that's the way I think, you know. I accept Jesus first, then I must be a good disciple, I must live holy life, then, more, then God happy already, He will give me more blessings. Right, and then when we See, it's a wrong stronghold in your mind. It will affect your life. Right? 
right? So when I have the understanding, oh, I take out a stronghold, I, I break into pieces, I flush it down the toilet. Right, so now I got right stronghold, good stronghold. Right. I receive Jesus, I receive all of God's grace, I receive all of God's blessings. Right. And then in John 1, verse 16, the Amplified Version, wow, it's beautiful. You know, in the, in the New King James, it says, Out of His fullness, we have all received grace for grace. Right. But the Amplified, Amplified Version, what it says, out of Jesus' abundance, we have all received, past tense, all had a share and all were supplied with. One grace after another, spiritual blessing upon spiritual blessing, Ampli and even favour upon favour and gift, heap upon gift. Jenaro Amplified Version, no? Di jambai ko po mu bima na le po yan, atuwe tu ni ne shilin tare jambai ma so yin, ဒီမှာဘာတွေ့ရလဲဆိုတဲ့ခါမှာဖျားရခင်ရဲ့အတိတ်ဆုံတဲ့ Amen. So it doesn't tell you a little bit, uh, it tells you continuous, and you already have it. Past tense. Right? That's why it's part of the salvation package. You receive Jesus, we receive all this. Right, God's responsibility is the moment you accept Jesus, He gives you all these things. Right, now it's your now is our responsibility to find out what are the blessings God has freely given to us so that we can partake it and enjoy it. Right, that's why salvation is God's grace, right? It's God's grace to us. We exercise faith to appropriate and that's why you know you are safe. That's why salvation Right, we cannot earn God's blessing. God never designed it that way. Right, God is not a person. Sometimes it's like, Oh, I do good to you, uh, then you will do good to me. Right, so sometimes that's why in workplace we try to get into the boss good books. Right, do good, do good job so that uh, promotion will come. Right, but God is not like this, okay? God don't deal with you on a transaction basis. <laughs> right, some people say, oh, I need to... Right. 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 Some people say, oh, I need to fast more, I need to pray more, I need to come to church more, do more, do more, then God will give me more. Oh, right, Romans 4 verse 4, it says, To him who works, 
the wages are not counted as grace but as debt. Roman 4 verse 4. Oh, verse 4, okay. Yeah. Right? So, for instance, you work in a job, your boss pay you a salary. The salary is not your boss grace to you. Uh. It's you deserve it because you work for it. So, what is the same Right, your boss grace to you will be one day, you know, you're just doing your normal work. One day he say, Hey, come, come, come. Uh, I like you very much. I give you six month bonus. Ah, Danet the Tia Biore. Right? You don't do anything to deserve it, but it's because of your boss, grace, his grace towards you. Ah, that is grace. Ah, the Geranja or Tinel Lem Saima Bude. The we made Tempo, my Jesu Pugin, no, no, Milga Chaulasa, who bonus payments on my Pilay, the Tatiga thing with Jesu Pugin, Bepsi Pare. Right? So the blessings of God you cannot earn. It has been freely given. The John Piatkins Kiane Lare, Jesu, Suragaro. Right. So what can grace do for us? Right. Remember, God, our Father, is a smart person. Right. Whatever, uh, he doesn't give us unnecessary gifts. Right, whatever he give us, he knows that we need it. Right, it's going to help us to live the life that he wants us to live. To reign in life. Ephesians 1 verse 3. Right, it says, God has blessed us with all spiritual blessing. Or in other version, it says, with every spiritual blessing. Right, so when I saw, right, when I saw this verse, oh, it was like Rema to me. You know? I was like, argue with God. I argue with God for many, many months. Cannot be, cannot be, cannot be. Right, so when I saw this verse, oh, it was like Rema to me. I was like, argue with God. I argue with God for then all those, all those prayers, I pray, God, give me more. God, bless me. It's wrong. Right. I couldn't accept that. Oh, I was talking with God. God, cannot be all my prayer all these years all wrong? Right. And the Holy Spirit said, uh huh, all wrong. <laughs> right. Then the Holy Spirit tells me, well, what does my word say? And then I say, but, but if it's wrong, how come sometimes I still get the blessings? Right. And then I say, but, but if it's wrong, how come sometimes I Right, and then the Lord tells me, it's because of my love for you. No, I bring you to this stage until now you understand. Last time I was ignorant. Right, right. 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 Now I cannot pray like that anymore. <laughs> Right, sometimes you get into the flesh. Oh Lord, please bless. Uh, and then the Holy Spirit reminds me. Ephesians 1 3. Oh, it's like alarm. Like that. <laughs> right, so if you are struggling with this, so instead of asking God for blessings, I, my, my prayer has to, I thought I had to like, it's like do reverse, change direction. Right? Father, I thank you. Right, so I 
ปิดตาเนี่ยเนี่ยเนี่ยเนี่ยเนี่ยเนี่ยเนี่ยเนี่ยเนี่ยเนี่ยเนี่ยเนี่ยเนี่ยเนี่ยเนี่ยเนี่
Sometimes we like to use words, things like that. But actually, it's the same thing. You know? it, activate means to renew your mind. That's all. You just need to understand the truth, believe in the truth, walk in the truth. All this will start flowing. So when you know all this comes to you freely without you having to do anything except accepting Jesus as your Lord and Savior, right? You will enjoy your Christian walk. Right, you become so thankful, your heart is filled with gratitude towards God. Right, because you start partaking of these blessings, you start reigning in life. Right, so it's from inside out, you know, it's from your spirit, it flows out. Right, and you start to want to please God, you start want to live holy lives. Right, you start wanting to do good works because why? You are so thankful to God. Right, you so now you are doing good works not to earn blessings. Now you realize I am doing good works because it's out of these blessings that I have already received. Right, so it starts with again thinking correctly. Right, so God's God's grace towards you, you know, for day-to-day -day living, for provision, all that is already inside. Right? right, so you start thinking correctly, right? You start thinking correctly, Right, one is man's righteousness, which is the worst way. Right, and these are the ones that we are very familiar with. You need to perform, you need to show your good works, you know, live holy life. Right, that's why the, the word out there, when, you, when they hear righteousness, when you when they hear the word righteous, is equate to doing good works, living holy lives. Right, in Isaiah, you know, chapter 64, verse 6, it says, All our righteousness are like filthy rags. Right, it means all your good works and all that in order to try to earn God's favor is nothing. It's filthy rags in the eyes of God. Right? And then in Romans 3 10, you know, everybody likes to quote this. Oh, there is none righteous, no, not one. Okay, Roma don't say 
Alright, so the context of Isaiah and, and, and Romans 3, although it's in the Bible, we need to rightly divide the word of truth. Alright, Isaiah was in the Old Testament. Old Testament people not born again. They have the sin nature in them. Right, same thing in Romans chapter 3. There is none righteous. Here is talking about mankind. Right? Roma, mankind. Roma Toma Yitare Osaga. Luta the do long to Yitara. Lu atwe Yitara. Right? Many Christians wrongly use these two verses to apply to themselves. And then that's why they say, see, the Bible says, I'm not worthy, my righteousness like filthy rag, I'm not worthy, I'm not good. Right? And that's why say, so these two verses are not talking about believers, born again believers. The Geranjaro Dinakuga. Right, this is talking about man. Man's righteousness, man's work is in the eyes of God not acceptable. And right, that's why under dispensation of grace, there is only God's righteousness. Right. Freely given by God. That's why it's called a free gift of righteousness. Right. So again, it's not based on your performance. Right. Right? It is based on the goodness of God. Right? The, day you are, you, the day you are born again, God declare you righteous. Amen. Irrespective of how you feel. Right? God, I don't feel righteous. God says it doesn't matter. I call you righteous. Right, so if God declare you righteous and you tell yourself, I'm not righteous, you're fighting against God. Right, so if God declare you righteous and you tell yourself, I'm not righteous, you're fighting against God. Humility means you agree with what the word of God says. Right, that is true humility. So if God says you're righteous, you must agree and say, yes, I agree, even though I don't understand yet. Even I don't feel, I agree. Right, so in the eyes of God, you are all righteous whether you feel like it or not. And as a result, that's why all the blessings flows to you. Right? In Romans 4, you know, verse 3 to 5, Abraham believed God. God said, you're going to be a father of many nations. Abraham believed and God said, you are righteous. Right? Abraham Abraham believed God. Remember, God's righteousness is from His perspective, not from man's perspective. Right. Man will never see you righteous. Man will always find fault. 
ไรท์บัดเอ็นกอดไซต์ยูอาร์ไรเจสเพียงอาการอดจนอรุยะชิจนอรุกูตุยะเมสิชิมาพยักมาดอดุผิดเดอะเมนแทสไวท์อินเว
เนาะนี้เนี่ยตะคุเบพยายามเปียวได้สกาปอมาจนเราโยงจีสิทธิ์ชายินเนี่ยพยายามเปลี่ยนเส้นได้ส่งเลยเนี่ยกองจีมิง
right? And then Colossians 1, 12 says that we have been made worthy, we have been qualified by God. That's why the good news is, as a believer, you have been accepted, you are qualified for the inheritance. All the, that's why all the blessings come to you. That's why once you understand this, because righteousness is in the beginning part, right? Righteousness is, that's why you see, righteousness, once you have it, it gives you the doorway into all of God's blessings. Right, so that's why you, we need to be well grounded, right, in this in this in this understanding that you have been made righteous. Right. So once you are established in this, this foundation is laid securely, no problem. Right? Your prayer life will change, blessings will start to manifest. Right? A lot of times we think that oh the devil is stopping the blessings. Actually, it is not. It is your your own wrong thinking. That is stopping it. Right? Right. So once we make the adjustment, once we align ourselves with God's truth regarding our identity, then all this starts to flow. Right. So the Bible says that we are called righteousness. So you understand the gift of righteousness, you understand God's grace. What happened? The result is rain in life. Amen. Right. So it is God's will for you to reign. And, right, and reigning in life is not just for yourself. Right, because when you are reigning in life, people can see your life is different. Right, the, 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 the pre-believers, they will look at you and say, this person is different. Right, you open doors for you to share the good news. Right, so it's not just for you, it's for the whole world. Right, because right, you don't have to struggle to get blessings. Right, you don't have to perform to get into God's good book. You're already in God's good book. Already. Right, you just need to be, make sure you are anchored well on Grace and gift of righteousness. Right. So the question, are you righteous? Okay, me go me me. Then the pyama do to pila. Amen. Okay, all pass. Good. Amen. <laughs> Amen. All right, praise the Lord. Amen. Thank you, thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much.